Hi, I'm Martha Murray, and our research team was composed of surgeons, Dr. Yen, Dr. Kramer, and Dr. McKaylee, as well as engineers, Dr. Kiapor and Dr. Fleming, our research coordinators, Christina Freiberger and Rachel Henderson, our radiologist, Dr. Kirsten Eklund, and our statistician, Dr. Les Kalish. So we're working on a new technique for ACL surgery, where instead of taking a graft to replace the ACL, we're actually using a scaffold and injecting it with some of the patient's blood and placing that in the gap between the torn ends of a mid-substance tear of an ACL and using that to try to stimulate ACL healing. We're following these patients with MRIs and we looked at MRIs at six months in 62 patients after this procedure to see if we could identify any factors that could predict who would heal the ACL with a nice big ACL and who would heal it with an uh, ACL that had low signal intensity, meaning a highly organized tissue. So that was our research question, could we identify those factors? To summarize some of our main findings, we saw bigger uh, cross-sectional area of the repaired ACL in older patients and uh, in men. We also saw, uh, saw bigger ACLs in patients with bigger femoral notch, and we saw that uh, performance of a notch plasty can also lead to a bigger ACL at six months after bridge enhanced ACL repair. Looking at the signal intens intensity values of the repaired ACLs, we saw lower uh, signal intensities, something more closer to normal intact ACL in patients with uh, lower uh, lateral uh, tibial slope and in patients with greater quad deficit. With regard to other factors that we studied in this, uh, basically cohort, none of the other factors were a big player in determining the cross-sectional area or signal intensity of a repaired ACL at six months. Well, the significance of this study really has been the fact that we were able to reconstitute the ACL you know, from a mid-substance tear uh, using the bare scaffold. Um, I think that the, the next steps of this study really would be to see whether or not any of these factors are modifiable. Should we be slowing down the rehab to actually create an ACL that's, that's uh, more robust in, their, in quality, or should we be doing a notchplasty in all patients to see if we can create an ACL that's actually bigger? Um, these, are, these certainly are factors that we can modify, and these are the things that we'll be studying next.